Welcome to Catholic News World. Welcome to Catholic News World. Please subscribe to our channel. My name is Steph. Here are this week's breaking news headlines. Sister Janet Mead, a Catholic religious sister of the South Australian Mercy Sisters, has died at the age of 84. She became internationally renowned, in 1974, for her rock version of the Lord's Prayer. The single was distributed to 31 countries and sold more than 3 million copies worldwide. She died peacefully after a battle with cancer on January 26, 2022. The Catholic Archbishop of Adelaide Patrick O'Regan expressed his sadness and acknowledged the immense contribution she made through her endeavors for social justice and her work with the homeless, refugees and First Nations people. South Australian Premier Stephen Marshall also posted a tribute on Facebook yesterday, saying he was deeply saddened to learn of the death of Sister Janet. She entered the convent in 1955. Her recording of a rock version of the Lord's Prayer, was popular in Australia and was distributed to 31 countries, selling over 3 million copies worldwide. Sister Janet donated all her royalties to charity. In 2004, Janet received the Yamaha Golden Gospel Award in recognition of her services to Australian Christian music. In 1985, the Adelaide Day Centre for Homeless Persons was started. Sister Janet, together with other members of the Romero community, were the driving force behind this initiative. The Adelaide Day Centre assists with emergency housing, runs a mobile soup van and provides an activity program, which includes woodwork, gardening, crafts and living skills. She was the first Australian artist to have a gold record in the US and was even nominated for a Grammy Award but lost out to Elvis Presley. She introduced the concept of the Rock Mass in South Australia and held them regularly in the St. Francis Xavier Cathedral in Adelaide. She continued to teach at St. Aloysius College despite becoming a star. She turned down offers to tour the US. The Munich Abuse Report was presented on Thursday, January 20, 2022 and it faults Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, then Archbishop Joseph Ratzinger, Cardinal Reinhard Marx, Cardinal Friedrich Wetter and other people in charge. The lawyers accused Benedict of misconduct in four cases during his tenure as Archbishop of Munich and Freising, from 1977 to 1982. Marx is accused of misconduct in two cases, and Wetter in 21 cases. Attorney Martin Pusch also pointed out that the emeritus head of the church had rejected his responsibility in all cases in a personal statement. His statement has been published with his consent with the report. According to the attorney, Two cases concerned priests who were criminally sanctioned but both were allowed to continue working as pastors. No action was taken against them under church law, and nothing recognizable about care for their victims. I am shocked and ashamed, said Marx in a first reaction to the report published on Thursday by the Westfall Spilker Waste Law Firm. His first thought is for those affected who have experienced misery and suffering to an alarming extent at the hands of church representatives. In the report, Marx is accused of misconduct in two cases. The Pope Emeritus, as Archbishop, failed to take action against clerics accused of abuse in four cases, the experts claim. The report also incriminates Cardinals Wetter and Marx and some priests and deacons. In essence, it is about the allegation that some priests and deacons continue to be employed even after allegations of sexual abuse became known. Archbishop Ganswine rejected the allegations a few days ago. The number of victims is about 497 victims, mostly male. Children and young people were reported as victims during the period between 1945 and 2019. A volcanic eruption on the island of Tonga has caused major damage. The Caritas Network in Oceania and Asia Pacific are organizing to monitor the situation and send the first humanitarian aid, after the eruption of the underwater volcano Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai, on January 15, and the subsequent tsunami. Fides reports that the catastrophe has affected 84% of the approximately 105,000 people living in the Kingdom of Tonga, making the supply of food and water to the population problematic. Caritas Tonga, and the entire local church, have fully mobilized to provide relief, aid and assistance to the affected populations. As Fides has learned, Cardinal Son Padi de Paini Mafi, Bishop of Tonga, 
has sent a letter to all parishes asking for donations of food and other material, to be sent above all to the Hapai Islands, especially to the displaced people who have been transferred to other places. The church has created a special, diocesan disaster team made up of at least one representative from each area or vicariate, which will meet regularly to monitor the situation and needs on the various islands. People evacuated from the Mango and Atata Islands to Tongatapu are being temporarily housed in Sopu in the Nukulafa area. The Diocese of Tonga, which encompasses the entire Kingdom of Tonga and the island state of Niue, has a population of about 15,000 Catholics, out of 105,000 inhabitants, with 43 priests, two brothers and 34 nuns, divided into 15 parishes. Watch your programme every Friday at 7.30pm. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Catholic News World Channel. God bless. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.